Hi, I'm Chuck Kuala, former Senate Majority Leader. And I'm Scott Jensen, former Assembly Speaker. We're the insiders. So Scott, the People's Maps Commission uh, and the whole redistricting process out there, what's, what's your thought about this newest uh, twist on redistricting? Well, I was fascinated because of course the governor appointed this commission and he said, this commission is gonna give us fair maps. And I have heard from Democrats for the last 10 years about how the Republicans had gerrymandered this state. And that's the only reason that the Republicans control both houses of the legislature. And then the People's Maps Commission comes out and says, you know, you really can't draw a map that doesn't, uh, that's fair and follows all the federal rules and state rules without ending up with a Republican House and a Republican Senate likely. Uh, and that's the first concession they made that was embarrassing was that, yep, if you're drawing fair maps, you probably end up with a Republican uh, Assembly and Senate. And the second one, a mission they made, which is crazy to me, uh, an amateur mistake was that they drew the maps without following the Federal Voting Rights Act. Um, so as a result, their maps reduce the number of African-Americans and Hispanics likely to get elected to the Wisconsin legislature. Um, and they said, well, we're gonna go back and redo those to make sure that we comply with that. I don't know how anyone could have drawn maps without following the Federal Voting Rights Act, but eventually they'll get around to the answer. And uh, I think you'll see maps that lead to a Republican assembly and Senate. Well, you know, oftentimes lately, I feel Scott has a hard time defending Republican positions because they are so outlandish and they generally are. I have to admit it was not an auspicious debut for the People's Maps Commission. Clearly they're amateurs. And the problem with this in redistricting is that frankly, no one is an expert because you only get to do it once every 10 years and nobody can make a living doing this once every 10 years. Although Joe Hendrick has tried and has done a, actually done a good job on that score on the Republican side. And, 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 and is a, a professional in this. Um, but what I think what's going on here is you're seeing the, the problems with somebody starting up from ground zero and trying to get this right. But here's the reality. The reality is that the courts, whether it's the Wisconsin Supreme Court or the federal three judge panel, which is now out there, whichever court decides, they will have plenty of maps to look at and they will, for the most part, comply with the Federal Voting Rights Act and frankly will not uh, with these amateurs, as they said, you know, not come up with a, a plan that will allow Democrats to win the assembly. There will be plans that will do that. And there will be good plans that will not be anywhere near as gerrymandered as the Republicans did the last time. But here's the other thing. The big question is who's going to decide and what will the results be? There are new, now two competing cases, the federal and the state court. The state Supreme Court clearly wants to take this. I think that that could blow up in their face. Both Justice Rogan Sack and Justice Ziegler talked about how awful it would be for the state Supreme Court to take it. This was just about 12 years ago when they were considering whether there should be rules for the 2010 redistricting. Ultimately, of course, there really wasn't much of a case there because the, you know, the Republicans controlled everything. That I think is going to bite them and you know, come around to, to their detriment that they are on camera saying that this is not the right thing to do. And you know what? It isn't. Because right now, Republican conservative Supreme Court races are run out of the Republican Party headquarters, literally. I mean, it's not like they're kind of conservative. It's like we run them out of their headquarters. How can you do that? And because of that also on the Democratic side or on the progressive side, those campaigns are in many respects funded by the Democratic Party. That's why an elected Wisconsin Supreme Court should not be deciding this case, but they've decided to take it. But I also think it might form the basis for some people being able to look at this and be able to swing things over the federal courts. So we'll see. Yeah, we will see. Um, you know, in general, I, I don't, I, in general, I think these cases should be decided at the state level. That is what the U.S. Supreme Court said, unless there's a violation of the Federal Voting Rights Act. This is a state matter and should be decided by the state Supreme Courts, uh, if that's the final court of, of uh, decision in that state. The weird thing would be if both courts were, had these cases wandering their way through the, through the chambers. Um, my guess is that um, the federal court will defer to the state Supreme Court unless someone alleges a violation of the Federal Voting Rights Act. So in general, I think it will be uh, decided by the state Supreme Court. And I would then remind the state Supreme Court that I 
tried to get them to think about how they were going to do this a year ago. Um, and they said, we don't need no stinking rules. We're not likely to take this case up. And now they're ready to take the case up and they haven't really thought it through. So that's unfortunate. Tried to give them a heads up on that. Um, tried to give them a heads up on that uh, 10 years ago as well. Um, but finally, we're gonna get around, I think, to the notion that the state Supreme Court is gonna to have to take this case. I think it's gonna be wild. And I'll tell you what, I think it's gonna be really ugly for a kind of a partisan court to take up a partisan issue and get a partisan result will not breed respect for this court. I am very concerned. Be afraid, be very afraid, especially when it comes to politicians and now Supreme Court justices are politicians deciding cases. There's a lot to come on redistricting. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.